thank you so much for tuning back in to my channel. Welcome to this episode of Yesterday's Music where we appreciate, we relive the music from the past. Most of the time, the song that I react from music of yesterday is older than me actually. I just love to listen and appreciate this music from yesterday. Without further ado, this is uh, Meat Love once again. It's Paradise by The Dashboard. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do a re little bit of research here before we dig into that song, Paradise by the Dashboard. Uh, let's see, hope there is something here that we can dig up. What's this song's all about? Okay, so Paradise by the Dashboard is a song written by Jim Stenman. It was released in 1977, obviously. It is older than me, the song, uh, on the album Bad Out of Hell, with vocals by the American Music Meatloaf alongside Ellen Foley. An uncommonly long song for a single, it has become a staple of classic rock radio. It has been uh, described as the greatest rock do it. Okay, so this is a do it. I'm wondering what this song is all about. Let's see. The song opens with a male and female character reminiscing about days as a young high school couple on a date. They are parking by a lake and having fun, experiencing paradise by the dashboard light. Oh, is that what it is? Until the young male character insists they're gonna go all the way tonight. Oh my gosh. The male character's advances are mirrored by New York Yankees announcer uh, Phil Rizzuto, a broadcast broadcasting portion of the baseball game that serves as a metaphor for the male character's attempts to achieve his goal, accompanied by uh, funk instrumentation and back and forth dialogue between male and female characters. Okay, uh, it's like a role play or something. Just as the male character is about to score uh, via the suicide squeeze, the uh, female character interjects, telling him to stop right there. She refuses to go further unless the male char character first promised to love her forever and marry her. Reluctant to make a, such a long-term commitment, the male character repeat, repeatedly asks her to consent and promises to give his answer in the morning. The female character uh, remains steadfast and the male character finally offers his promise. I started swearing to my God and my mother and gave that I would love you to the end of time. Okay, back to the present, both characters express how each can no longer stand the other. Oh gosh, remaining true to the vow he made on that night in the past, he is now praying for the end of time. He arrived and relieved him from his obligation. The song gradually fades out, juxtaposing his uh, gloomy, it was a long ago, quote unquote, it was a long ago, it was far away, it was so much better than it is today. With her nostalgic, it never felt so good, never felt so right, we were glowing like the metal on the edge of a knife. Wow. An early live performance of the song, this part, uh, and thus the conclusion of the song itself, was followed by a spoken word uh, epilogue by Meat Loaf and uh, Carla De, Vit De Vito, uh, where they still in character as the two protagonists argued about what to keep after the couple's divorce. Having been presumably married for a number of years, the argument was cut short by De Vito shouting, and all I keep the baby, which left Meatloaf characters speechless. Previously unaware of the pregnancy, immediately after, he ended the argument by screaming incoherently at her. The exchange was repeated with a different female vocalist in different versions and with different endings. In most of Meatloaf's subsequent live tours and remained in the set until his death, when it was still occasionally performed by Meatloaf and his featured vocalist Patty Russo. That's why I totally believe there is always, always a story behind a song. Especially these songs from yesterday's. Alright, let's get to this. Quite, quite a story actually. Let's get to this. I'm glad I've read that before we start. Oh! Glowing like the metal on the edge of a knife Glowing like the metal on the edge of a knife 
come on, pull on tight, oh, come on, pull on tight. <laughs> Me and you, baby, back a long time, and I think, yes, I think, I do think that you know what I Really turning it on now. He's not 
setting up at all. He's going to drive to second. The ball is bobbled out in center, and here comes the throw. And what a throw. He's going to slide in head first. Here he comes. Oh, that He's is. out. No way. Safe. Is. Safe at second base. Uh, this kid really makes things happen out there. Batter the, steps the up to the plate. Uh, here's the pitch, and he's going, and what a jump he's got. He's trying for third. Here's the throw. It's in the dirt. Safe at third. Holy cow, stolen base. Taking a pretty big lead out there, almost daring him to try and pick him off. Pitcher glances over, winds up, and it's butted, butted down the third baseline. The suicide squeezes on. Here he comes. Squeeze play. It's going to be close. Here's the throw. Here's the play at the plate. Holy cow, I think he's going to make it. Just a sec. We're like six minutes already. Like running to seven minutes already. This is long. Every bit of it. Boy, yes or no? Space. He's a good What's actor. Gonna be boy? He's a really good, oh, good yes. actor. Oh, no. Let me sleep on it. Baby, baby, let me sleep on it. Well, let me sleep on it. I'll give you an answer in the morning.
they're portraying the entire life story. This is just a 12 minute play, role play right here. Well done. Well done. appreciate that let me just appreciate that wow they're singing of course it is a it is a role play theatrical play or something like that but i haven't heard uh you know in a song uh going singing simultaneously on a with the different you know different lyrics it's you know, they're saying different things there but they're still going along with the melody of the song it's different it i've never Witness that kind of, you know, like aspect of music before music. You know what? You know what? what? I'm taking the fucking color TV. Oh yeah, well, I'm taking the Volkswagen. Oh big deal, I'm taking the Sony AM I'm FM radio. Well, I'm taking the baby, buddy. The baby. You taking what? The baby. I said you taking what? What are you taking? You big fool, we ain't got no baby. That was like a whole entire, entire 13 minutes of role play right there. They didn't get tired at all. That was tiring, man. That was tiring. That was exhausting for me. I mean, for me, it would have been so exhausting. But they were enjoying it so much that uh, they didn't even feel tired at all. You couldn't see it from their face. Of course, they're not sweating and all that because they're performing. Um, but wow, what a play. What a role play. It's, it's really nice that I was able to read what the song is all about before I listened to it. It really helped me go along with the flow, it helped me understand what the song is all about and what they're like portraying, what they're like saying about right there. That was great, that was great, that was awesome, that was awesome. I enjoyed it so much, it was like a 12, 13 minute of musical treat right there. Awesome man, awesome. I hope you enjoyed that with me, I have enjoyed it so much, so much. Thank you, thank you and I'll uh, see you next time. See you next time. I'll see you in my next episode of Yesterday's Music.